So, a quick update to my problem with uh, triggering the ADC um, at proper uh, points in the PWM cycle. Um, I found the problem. Uh, one of the things was that my ADCs were running way past the maximum frequency specified in the datasheet. So the datasheet specifies maximum ADC frequency of uh, 36 megahertz. Uh, I was using prescaler that was uh, division by two. So uh, it was actually running at uh, 80 megahertz. Um, so that caused ADC to misbehave. Uh, and um, I'm actually surprised that it was still working. Uh, but the second thing was that I actually had a typo here uh, in my uh, parameter for the output trigger. And uh, in one place I, I called it output trigger and in another place I called it trigger output. So that uh, caused the trigger output of the timer 8 to never actually fire. Uh, so uh, I updated uh, my code. And uh, now the ADC is sampling at the bottom of the PWM cycle. So when I move the motors uh, on my motor control board, uh, it is um, you can you can actually see uh, you can actually see the current uh, uh, the current measurement goes up and down depending on uh, which direction I'm moving it. Uh, so there are uh, let's see here. So, that and yeah so basically depending on the direction uh, if I'm moving in forward direction then uh, channel A uh, gets more current uh, channel B gets less For, let's see that's that's actually a bit strange um, it should be the same yeah I'll have to debug that but at least the triggering works, and uh, I think my ADCs uh, and my timers are synchronized. I'm going to check my timers just to make sure that they're synchronized. So, let's see. so the next step would be to actually plot this uh, current waveform and uh, to see if, that, if it makes sense. So the current that I'm measuring is here. Yeah. Well, let's see. This makes sense. Am I getting the same values? Um, so I'm going to take channel 2, increase the scale to, let's put it to 500 millivolts. Let's see if this works better. It's forward and backward. Yeah. So it seems to be correct. Yeah. The values follow this. Um, yeah. Um, so the next step now is to uh, convert the values to um, amps, uh, which I'm going to do by looking at my um, value of my current sense resistor and uh, the gain that I'm using, and uh, then to plot the values and to see if it makes sense. So that's it. ADCs are fixed.